Company. Company. On earth did you get in here? This is uh this is roses. I have no intention of making a meal of you. Please. This is roses DLC gameplay, I think. I'm but a humble merchant. Nice to play. So cute. Hey, thank you, man. Anything that's a uh, future aesthetic looks always really good. I do so strive Futuristic stuff. My patrons, I hope we can become well acquainted. But of course, it is not I who is on display here, but rather the wares on offer for you. Hmm. I deal in all manner of commerce, but today I trade in knowledge. Knowledge. This place is a veritable hoard of information. Wait, this is another DLC? From all throughout the realms of man. The more hard won the knowledge, the higher the price. Don't tell me I missed the RE4 like gameplay trailer. Well I'm gonna be pissed. Now we're gonna we're gonna rewatch it again anyways. Well, if he missed anything. Here, I've got a few morsels I'd love to share with such a connoisseur. Please. That's Kraus! Kratos and Leon. This is Plague, right? No, this is Resident Evil, Phoenix. Resident Evil. Uh, it's the whole li ri live stream for Resident Evil. Happy world premiere. Birthday, Rose. Wait, why world premiere? <gasps> Wait, are, you going to, are they going to show RE8? Or RE9? I just want to find my daughter. This is the third person mod. I'll always be there for you, no matter what. Oof. Get shot. Grab mommy? Mommy milkers? Mommy milkers? You are my precious rose. And I didn't care. So long as we were together. You know what I heard? That man didn't even care. I, I heard it. That, why did I hear it like that? Man didn't even care. Man didn't care. I love you. Went to Peggy. Man didn't care. Now the daughter must face the fears. Hmm, interesting. Even this is gonna be in um, third person as well. Ooh. Damn, she's got powers. She's got powers. Try to imagine abilities. No matter. You're imminent demise. And this guy's fat. He's fat. I love you, but I won't let anything happen to Rose. That uh, damn she Morbin. Resident Evil Village Gold Edition. Winter's expansion. They never showed Ethan's face, did they? Like officially. I'm Kento Kinoshita, the director of the hey, It's Morbin space. time. <laughs> yeah man. Ethan gave his life to protect Rose. And in the end, you see how she's grown. Isn't this all just like shown? I think they're just uh, retouching on it. It's coming out on 28th, I think. 8th or 26th of October. We decided to have her at that age in this expansion. You said you had something important to tell me? She's trying to get rid of her unwanted powers, but to I'm do reading, that, I'm, I'm seeing to things. To the origin of her misfortune. I don't want, I don't want to say what I just read. We thought that concept had a lot of potential for an interesting story. I'm delusional today so for some reason. Time is the I'm seeing things. My dyslexic brain is kicking back in. One more time to that village. So this is basically like in a nightmare. She, she dives into her nightmares. If you saw something happen in real life, she goes into a mind like evil within. Instant, like the feeling of being attacked by a giant doll. Wow, that's not that's not creepy at all. So completely unrealistic, can remain as a fragment of a memory for the rest of your life. I wanted the core of the feeling of fear to come from the kind of memory. Yeah, that's not creepy at all. That 
still haunt people to this day. Dude, Resident Evil Village did a really good job about that one sequence in that house in in Dawn of Benevento's house where who didn't play the you lose all your weapons spell, basically and you're in in that you're hallucinating. Character. So you're seeing things, right? And it's like the giant fucking baby chasing the entire segment, the entire segment in RE8 in that in that house was amazing. That a regular human could not. Creepy as hell. Being able to play them was more fun. So that's why we chose those characters. <laughs> you just chug a chair at him. Just casually chug this throne at your face. As possible was spent waiting for enemies to appear. For instance, if a player doesn't finish off an enemy, it will chase after the player. We made adjustments like this to raise the tempo. But it's still first person. You should have made this also third person. Enemy yeah. after enemy. The best mercenaries mod was RE4, in my opinion. In an FPS, you experience the game FPS? as if it's through your own eyes. So it can be incredibly scary to play a horror game from oh, that this perspective. There are some players out there who might find it too scary or experience motion sickness in the first person perspective. We are, huh? They might not enjoy the FPS genre. So we wanted to make a third person mode for those players. To enjoy the game to its Yeah, apparently I heard that they they changed some animations and how some of the things work well, for the third person. Immersion and fear with a third person perspective. When the player character dies, it doesn't feel as much like you yourself are dying. And you can enjoy playing it as a game to confront the fear that it creates, which is a very different experience. You haven't played any RE previously, only tried a little to understand the puzzle game. To to puzzle Evil game? You mean the fir the earlier Resident Evil games? And an experience. The older ones usually are very long because they have a lot of puzzles, but if you play anything from RE, RE3, no, I would say RE4, anything from RE4 to RE, uh, n until now, is all, is all decent, all action and shit. Each of the three editions are interesting in their own way. So the third push, uh, push no. yeah, that's what they added, that's what they announced way back for State of Play as well, that they're gonna add a third push, um, mode for Resident Evil Village. World premiere. Now we have an amazing announcement for you. Amazing announcement. Today, a demo for the mode will be available. Here is the release date and platforms for the demo. This demo can be played for a total of 60 minutes in Interesting. first person mode or the previously existing first person mode. Interesting. I'm not, I'm not going to play it today though like tomorrow possibly maybe we'll start up playing the demo tomorrow and then start up playing plague still in a while since we fought together captain 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 now let's have some fun people how did chris get jacked up from re7 to re8 man it was this crony guy in re7 and then re8 he got jacked up how did he get jacked up so fast coincidence i think not Oh, this Ari, um, Ari worse. But oh, that's it. That's that Chris, the unroided Chris. I just saw Leon deal with something. I just saw Resident Leon Duel. Evil Ari Verse is free content for those who own Resident there you go. Evil Village Resident Evil Village, Village, Resident Evil Village Gold Edition. This game has crossplay, and you can fight players. Damn, it has crossplay. Those who already own Resident Evil Village will be able to participate in the early access period starting early access. October 24th. That's how he said it. Early access. Are planned for Resident Evil are reverse after it has been officially released. Here are some details for the early access and updates. Really don't care about this. Give me more world premiere. Come on. Resident Evil Village will be playable on even more platforms. Joy. Hello, everyone. My name is Jeremy Sanmo, and I'm part of the GPU software team at Apple. During the keynote hey, at the Apple Worldwide guy? Developers Conference, Capcom announced Resident Evil Village will be coming to the Mac later this year and will take full advantage of the power and performance of Apple Silicon. We couldn't be more excited that the game will be available to Mac users around oh, the world. Oh shit! Beginning Comes from Mac as well. Damn. Resident Evil Village is the first project based on Capcom's RE engine to support the Mac, 
and runs natively on our How many system. games can you play on Mac? And since the game is optimized Any good games out on Mac that you could actually play? Like metal effects upscaling, gameplay is incredibly responsive. Mac gaming. High frame rates and beautiful Then it's the new meta now, it's Mac gaming. This means that every Mac, from MacBook Air to Mac Studio, will be able to play Resident Evil Village with ease. Stay tuned for more information soon. Okay. Hello everyone. I am Midoro from Ubitus. Ubitus. Yonatani from Ubitus. It is a great Both of them are from Ubitus. Taking part in this global project of the Resident Evil franchise on cloud with Capcom. With the launch of the Cap, It's coming everywhere. It's good. It's, it's basically on every platform now. You can't escape it. Can play the you want to play Ari Village on anything? We can even play it on Game Boy. That's, it's it's coming on Switch as well. The application size is small. But the users can experience smooth gameplay and play FPS. They're probably going to announce a um, mobile that version of the game as well. Such as TV mode, tabletop mode, and handheld mode. It is great to be able to focus on the gameplay without thinking about storage space or the download time. You can also but I had cloud voice to shit. By playing the I don't know. Before you pre I've heard that. Or purchase the game. On people. The game can be pre ordered or purchased after you play the demo. This is to make sure that those who are playing a cloud game for the first time, or may have concerns, can test it and enjoy the oh, game. Ah, that's good. It's good at doing that. With 5G mobile network technology... With wireless on Switch, yeah, I mean... Recently, the wonder how it's gonna handle on Switch. I mean, I don't know if this is actual gameplay that's happening on the Switch. Smaller. We hope you will enjoy you gotta, you gotta see how much... What the frame rates are. As well as its future, through the release of Resident Evil Village Cloud. Resident Evil Village Cloud will be available on October 28th, and the Witcher's yeah, expansion DLC will follow on December 2nd. Oh, that's on Early December 2nd. Oh. Launch on November 11th, followed by the RE3 Cloud on November 18th, and RE7 Cloud will be available on December 16th. Okay, let's give me give me RE4. Come on. <laughs> How delightful! <laughs> Such. Delectable information ought to be safe. Oh, this is just a presentation, oh, by the way. What's that? You want more? More. <laughs> what a greedy thing you are. No, oh, so shit. Well. There it is. I love to see it. There it is. I, I recognize this. I would recognize a symbol anywhere. Come, Come on. Yeah. I would recognize a symbol anywhere. Dude. I swear to god, if this is the only thing that they show. Hello everyone. Ah. I'm the producer of Resident Evil 4, Yoshiaki Hirabayashi. Okay. I'm here today to deliver the newest information Fucking Leon, about the dude. title. First, Please enjoy yes! The Finally, the thing that something I deserve. Something that we deserve. Fucking gameplay. Let's go. Finally! Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude, this looks so different. Imagine this is the gameplay and they cut it off from here. This is the first starting house that he goes into. Dude. Cozy cabin vibes. Oh, they skipped it? Look at a puzzle. Oh, there he is. Chainsaw Man, not here. He's in the village. Come in the village. Once you get started, once you start getting attacked by hordes. Dude, it looks so good, dude. It looks so good, man. Fuck. Did they change the interaction? They did. Hey. It Situation. Damn, Leon looks like a Chad. Give him a shot. Really? 
Yeah, this game does give you uh, jump scares and anxiety at times. Oh, dude. This is running at 30. We have to see the 60 frames a second. Uh, they prop oh. No fucking way. Yeah, the 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 shooting acts kind of the same from RE2 Vmic. I mean, I would I would see why they would add that there. There wasn't any um, no reason to not add that. Chainsaw Man. Chainsaw, Chainsaw Man was anxiety and pressure. It was just full on anxiety as soon as he came out. Hunnigan. Bruce. Roost? This is Condor One. Hunnigan here. Oh, Hunnigan here. The president's daughter, Baby Eagle. It's likely she's in this village. Our intel was correct then. Well done. Something's Dude. happened to people here. My escorts are. Gotta go. Talk later. Damn. They completely re Okay, just yeah, so just like the. Oh, dude, the village. Dude. Holy shit, man. Shit. Exactly, Leon. That, you, that, you were right there. Damn, roundhouse kick. You, got, you gotta show us that dialogue. Where's everyone going? Bingo? Oh shit, that's sick. He put he lit the cow on fire and the cow lit the other guys on fire. What the cow doing? The cow. The cow. Yeah, what that cow do? There he is. The man, the myth, the legend. Oh, that's that's even more terrifying now. Holy shit! Grab the shotgun, Lowen. Grab the shot. Okay, this gameplay is giving me anxiety, man. I swear to God, I'm doing it right. <laughs> that damn punch. You can either kill him or you can uh, run away or run away or stall for time um, until the bell rings. So there's a certain amount of small enemies you need to kill. After that, you can just stall for time and then wait for the bell to, and then then the whole thing come up. I don't think they've changed it though. Apparently, it looks like he's doing things. Oh shit, new new uh new directions. Oh, you know what they did now? It's not an insta kill anymore. What did you think? As you just saw. It's not an insta kill anymore. You, you, you get a prompt to counter it. So that 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 thing about uh, anxiety is gone. We think this you try to fight. I try to fight him as well. Everyone, I, I think ev most of everyone tried to fight him the first time. The original, that both newcomers and veterans to Resident Evil 4 will enjoy. Dude. Now I actually want to play the original. I mean, I was playing it. We'll play it after I finish uh, Plague Tale. We'll, we'll continue RE4 and then finish it. Especially with, with, the, with the HD textures mod that I've been, uh, installed. It looks clean. Dude, they've added parry and shit. Resource management and upgrade elements are critical for survival. Just oh wait, did the original, oh there it is. Using the attaché case effectively will be key. In addition to managing the weapons and items you carry and synthesizing herbs, this also allows you That's to craft ammunition and other items. That's taken from Ari to Village. Hey, there he is. Stranger. Stranger. Of course, we can't forget the merchant. You can purchase weapons. He doesn't see. He doesn't sound exactly like. But he doesn't sound bad either. 
What are you buying? Where rare gems what are you selling? Can be exchanged for special items. <laughs> you can't go wrong with that. We are rebuilding the original game while respecting it definitely its core did. experience. Oh shit, that was a parry, dude. And modernizing the play field. I've actually put in a sick ass parry there. I'd like to share some new information regarding this product's release. We announced that Resident Evil 4 will also be available on PlayStation 4. Yeah. In addition to PlayStation 5, yeah. Xbox Series X, and Xbox Series S. You want this game? Everyone wants this game. The PlayStation 4 version can be upgraded to the PlayStation 5 digital version at no additional cost. Let's we'll see about that. I'd like to introduce two other editions we are preparing for players looking for more than the standard edition. Dulex and Gold Edition? The first is the Dulex yeah. Edition, which will be available for all platforms. <laughs> this includes additional content. Such oh my as god, costumes, I can already I can already see the speedruns. And more. I can already see the speedruns. Next Ooh. is the physical only collector's no one. edition. This is gonna get sold out really fast. This edition includes the contents of the deluxe edition. It's gonna get sold out really fast. Figure, a special map, art book, soundtrack, and more. Also, pre-orders start today. It's already gone. It's already gone. If you Sca scalpers are already on the website buying it the in bulk and then selling it on eBay for double the price. It's already gone. If you pre-order the already gone. Edition, I'm not going to look for it. Edition, you'll receive the standard edition pre-order bonuses as well as attaché case classic and special charm green herb. If you pre-order the digital version on the PlayStation Store, yeah. you'll receive a mini soundtrack. I don't want that. You can secure these bonuses by pre-ordering Resident Evil 4. Give me early, what, what's a beta? For watching so far. There's no beta? We are working hard to create a game that everyone will enjoy. Oh, they didn't announce an open beta for this? So please, or a trial look or something? to it. Before I go, we have one more update for you. Let's take a look. Hey, is this, wait, this, is this a new RE game? Hey, it's RE4. Ashley! Ashley, wait! Follow me. You're here looking for someone? It's probably an open beta or something. Maybe. Some missing senorita? Shh, Finoch. Ashley, where are you? Lord Sadler. Your soul requires cleansing. Yeah. That's Ashley, that's the horrific part of the game. Just let me go. Listen. I'm hearing the president's orders and. What is that? What do we do? The last lamps are escaping. We need to Our go. butt chicks are clenched. Hush. I'm gonna get you home safe. You can stop right there. Ada! Ada. Wait. Who are you? What are you doing here? Ada and Louis looks My nice. Luis looks nice. Hey, did they, did they not add the... Hey, it's that dog. Hey, it's a dog. Now, abandon your body. Leave the girl. She's lost no matter what. Now that he has no, he's more me. he's more like very Napoleon Bonaparte looking. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Ah, oh, really? I thought there was a beta or something coming out. Did you enjoy the Resident Evil showcase? Let's yes. recap. First, Resident Evil Village Gold Edition launches on Friday, October 28th. If you Dude. already own Resident Evil Village, you could purchase the Winter's Expansion DLC separately. 
The Winter's expansion includes three additional modes. Why is why is uh, why is Rose suddenly so raided now? The main game a new suddenly raided powers. The powered up, the mercenaries is a chosen one. Orders, and the new story campaign, Shadows of Rose. Oh, Hurt's card is on got Blink, one eight five ticket, and sold them for double the price. Uh, some of them were able to. That's Forget. what they do, right? Even for PS, they did the same shit for PS5s. Like, they bought a lot of PS5s and sold them for double the price on eBay or some shit like that. Like, no fun for you, all fun for us. More money. Resident Evil 2, Resident Evil 3, and Resident Evil 7 are also coming to Nintendo Switch via cloud at a later date. Also, the Mac version of Resident Evil Village will be released on October 28th. The newest entry in the series, Resident Evil 4. Got bounce nice stream. I'll be back. Hey, Ernski, thanks for stopping by. You do take care. Man. Have a good night. You can pre-order it today. We hope you look forward to it. Thank you very much for watching. No problem. Arigato. Oh, well, looks like you've had your fill. With such a grand display, I should hope so. Oh, yeah, but I'm, uh, it's, it's a good thing that they did show the like, gameplay for RE4. It looks really good. First impressions looking at it, they did a lot of changes, added new mechanics and shit. And they did they did stay faithful to the... So from the looks of it, they did stay faithful to the RE4. March 23rd, Phoenix. 2023. March 23rd. Cool. That was that was uh, was sick. Was sick.